It's the bulletin, man. No tripod. Hope you're having a great day. Hold on a second. Stand up and shout. Man, what a bummer. On May 16th, Ronnie James Dio passed away. And um, probably the best concert I ever saw was Dio and Twisted Sister down at the Keele Auditorium back in, I think, 84, 85. Um, what, what a tremendous show it was. Um, still remember that. A long time ago. 24 years ago. Hard to believe. I got a 25th class reunion coming up in September. That'd be real interesting because I went to school with Christina Miller, or Christina Jackson was her name. She married uh, this clown named Tim Miller, and Tim happens to be a municipal judge, county judge here, and also is a guardian ad litem on a case uh, involving uh, twin girls that are 15 and 16 years old that their daddy molested them, or molested one of them, and uh, now they're up at this place called Epworth, and they're getting molested up there, and... It's just a big mess, and they've actually sent letters out. They've told the lady that if um, that they talk to me, that they're not going to put this man. This this guy was convicted of some sort of child molest molesting offense of some sort. Can't find anything on case net about it because it was scrubbed, and he was wearing an ankle bracelet, and. Um, he showed up in court and he pointed to his ankle to his ex old lady and said, uh, or actually they're still married, they won't let him get divorced. But he had this ankle bracelet on and uh, pointed to it and said, you know, hey, I don't have to wear this ankle bracelet anymore. Uh, and guess who his lawyer is? Colby Smith Hines. I tell you what, and Colby is the Burns Mill judge, and I was in Burns Mill yesterday, you saw the video about that. They ended up arresting that kid. And on his way home from jail, <laughs> pull him and his mom over again. Uh, and this is, I'm sure, all over money. Uh, folks, the love of money is indeed the root of all evil. My, what are we going to do about these people? What are we going to do about them? I feel sorry for the police. I really do. I, you know, I love the police. I love law enforcement officers who actually enforce uh, the law. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say the law. Uh, actually, who understand what a crime really is. You do, you do all do realize what a crime actually is, is uh, up until the 1940s, a crime in America was you had to actually prove personal injury, loss, or harm, and now very little crime. In fact, there's probably about 250 people sitting in the Jefferson County Jail this evening, and probably about 200 of them are in there because they owe money or they've possessed marijuana or they drove drunk or they owe child support or whatever um, where there is no actual victim. Uh, the only victims are the ones being persecuted and prosecuted by a corrupt criminal de facto government that's got to be replaced. And we have every right, duty, and obligation to do so uh, through the Constitution of the state of Missouri, which is I think been suspended, but no one at the chief executive branch, Mr. Nixon, uh, will not confirm or deny that. Yeah, but we got big problems here in America, and these cops are putting themselves in very serious jeopardy, um, trying to be a revenue, trying to collect money for a criminal government. Um, man, you know I think these cops in Burns Mill only make like 500 bucks a week. Of course, it's a power trip, you know, Officer LaHaye or whatever. He was on a big power trip yesterday. Ed, you need to rein your boys in there in Burns Mill. Another thing, too, is I noticed they're working on this bridge down there in Burns Mill, but they got like the 45-mile-an-hour zone set up about three miles up the road. It's a scam, people. It really is. And it's time that the American people wake up and do something about these Nazis. Uh, and, you know, we have Nazis on every front, from, and we have a lot of Nazis as well. So, uh, my goodness, let's pray for this great nation, one's great nation. I talked to my nephew just a little while ago. He's in Destin, Florida. Um, he has not seen any oil down there. He said, man, it's beautiful, the beautiful white beaches and clear water. Uh, so it's all cool in Destin, but I did post something on my Facebook page. I have a, um, some video from Destin, and 
and uh, there was oil showing up on the beach down there. And it's a shame uh, behind this whole oil spill thing. British Petroleum is behind that, folks. BP, British Petroleum. You get it? You understand that the Queen is the largest landholder in the world? That the Great Britain is polluting the Gulf and running all those people off of the Gulf? That's called the rewilding of America. And guess who the lawyers actually work for? The term Esquire is a title of nobility granted by the Queen of England to our uh, brave men and women of the uh, lawyer community out there. Um, so we got the fungus is among us. We got to do something about that. Pray for him. That's all I can tell you to do. But we do serve an awesome God, an awesome Jesus. Um, I got a call last night about situation. This young man runs a company that, um, not really a company, it's a nonprofit, specializes in helping underprivileged youth um, in sports. He has a basketball academy, I think it's called, or something like that. But anyway, he was going to go Six Flags today. He had a little snafu with the front office there at Six Flags. Uh, he was up, he was down 7,500 bucks, needed 7,500 bucks. So his secretary called me and we were to talking about that and uh, we prayed about it. And uh, I got a text message about 10.30 this morning and <laughs> the credit card machines went down. Uh, I, th I could think throughout the county or country or whatever and uh, make a long story short, they, no problem. Everybody got into Six Flags. <laughs> so we do serve an awesome, wonderful God. So I got to give praise and glory to Jesus Christ. I don't know, how much time doing here, folks? I got some new glasses down in Festus at the optical shop. I just need $400 to pick them up. <laughs> I am going to Festus tomorrow to do that, so hopefully uh, I'll be able to find some money. I can walk out my glasses and I don't have to get on top of the camera and see what my time is. My, my time is running out, though. I think we're down to uh, about three minutes left in this Bulletin Man video broadcast. And I don't want to keep you the whole time because the longer the broadcast, the less views I get because people just attention spans are about that long. Um, so I think that's all I really wanted to cover today. I am having lunch with Sam tomorrow. Sam Rawls, the Economic Development Director of Jefferson County. Shop JeffersonCounty.com. I got a website? They should have. May I sell the website tomorrow? <laughs> anyway, uh, he's offered to buy me lunch tomorrow. And I want to take him up on that offer. See what else is what else Sam's got cooking. He's been trying to get with me for about a week now. But Sam, his ear has been bothering me. But it's getting better. I gotta get rid of these damn Q-tips though. I'm sticking Q-tip in my ear again tonight. It ain't a good thing. It really ain't. But uh, I do love you all. I do appreciate you stopping in and checking out the Bulletin Man on this wonderful Wednesday. It is June 16th. It's 2010 still. And uh, one of these days, real soon, Jesus is coming back. Are you ready for that? I certainly hope you are. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Believe in your heart that he rose from the grave and he's soon to come. And you too will be saved. Then once you get saved, go down to the river, have someone baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. When you come out of the river, you'll be filled with the Holy Ghost, and then you'll be inspired to broadcast such as this, to be a watchman on the wall, to, to warn the wicked that their day is coming. So do that. I implore you to do that. You won't regret it. I promise you that. I do love you. I do appreciate you stopping in. Checking out the bulletin, man. And as always, I do ask you to tell a friend. Everybody tell two friends. Even tell your enemies. Tell a policeman about the one and only bulletin man, if you would. I'll see you later. God bless you guys. Take care.